I was very impressed with Donovan Mitchell. I've been trying to get him to focus on other things other than scoring. If it's not your night because you're the main target to do other things. And tonight, he wasn't necessarily on, but he had 10 rebounds, five assists, and three steals and a block shot. So that to me, he's come a long way. Normally, if he missed shots, he, he wouldn't do that. So that's great. And, and Mango played great offense and, and tried to put um, uh, Nobertus Gigi in the NBA. <laughs> um, I, I guess, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't really focused on that. You know, Coach told me with about, I don't know, maybe eight minutes left that, you know, the guys are, all five guys are keying in on me. So I, I made it a point to kind of jump stop again in the lane and create shots for my teammates. And once I started doing that, I started to get more comfortable. And, you know, and realizing the games that we lost where I didn't play well, I, I was kind of push, forcing, forcing the issue and not really playing, doing other parts, having all the, excelling other parts of my game. So I made it a point to kind of go to the glass and get my teammates a shot and play, play great defense. I mean, Coach has made a big point of, uh, you know, trying to go play uh, inside out. And uh, I mean, it's been working out pretty well for me. Uh, a lot of guys started off, uh, you know, not expecting me to make a move in the post and, you know, uh, going up and scoring. And uh, I mean, it's working out pretty well for me and for my teammates because, you know, I'm kicking that out as well. Coach, did you notice any uh, sense of urgency going into this game after the loss to Duke? You know what I found? I don't know why it happened at Villanova last night. When you're a, a, a low seed, you come out a little tight because you're supposed to win in the minds of, of everybody. And the players, you know, usually we don't miss dunks in point blank range. And we didn't guard the three well tonight, but they banked three of them in and they made another three with one second on the clock. So, you know, when. When they shoot 50%, go 10 for 19 from the three, and you still win by 15, you have to take it. Now, that being said, we're playing against the Golden State Warriors on Sunday. So it's, um, I've never seen, I watch the second half, I've never seen shooting like that since I've been a coach. It, it, it's, it's incredible uh, the way they shoot the basketball. And, they, and it looks like it's going in the moment it leaves the hands. So it's going to be a tough task for us. Oh, what are you going to do in the next 48 hours to get your team ready for that kind of Arsenal, because it was unbelievable the second half. Yeah, it really was. Um, you know, when they, you have a great point guard who you've got to contain, and if you help. So, uh, look, we, we know how good Michigan is. This is a very inexperienced team. We have, we're down two scholarships. Our backcourt's a little thin. And show you how inexperienced we are. One of my players said, there's a lady in our huddle taking, stealing our plays, Tracy Wilson. Uh, <laughs> they thought she was giving it to the other team. And I told Donovan, she's not doing that. She just, <laughs> <laughs> no, he, it wasn't him. <laughs> but look, we, we know what we're in for. It'll be the toughest second round matchup I've had since I've been in this business. Uh, they're a great basketball team. I've seen them in person, uh, lose to my son. But since that point of seeing them in person, they are an entirely different basketball team. And they're lethal. And they're on a great run right now. But um, I think it'll be a heck of a game.